According to the World Health Organization, India is at the front line of a global environmental health emergency because of air pollution. 14 of out of the 20 most polluted cities in the world are in India. Almost the entire population lives in areas where air pollution exceeds the WHO's air quality guidelines and people are extremely vulnerable to diseases and medical emergencies. The most vulnerable are, are the aged, the children and residents of low income areas. Now, one of the reasons for high air pollution is the dependence on fossil fuels to power transportation. In 2020, road transport accounted for almost 87% of the, all the passenger trips and about 12% of the greenhouse gas emissions. On one hand is the uh, need for economic growth, urbanization and travel demand. And on the other hand is the need for energy security and reduction of emissions. How can India achieve its ambitious climate change mitigation target of reducing 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions by 2030? The answer lies in the electrification of transportation in India and making a shift towards using more public transportation. Let me tell you how ADB is supporting this initiative and the innovative financing solutions offered. Between October 22 and June 23, ADB will be financing the replacement of diesel fuel dirty buses with 250 electric buses or e-buses on 56 high density intercity routes between major cities in India. At the same ticket price as a diesel bus, passengers will enjoy additional luxury uh, features such as in-bus entertainment, free Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, air purifying filters and additional security features. All these features will make these e-buses cleaner, more environmental friendly and safer for women. But the financing of the projects presented challenges because unlike an infrastructure project or a public-private partnership project where cash flows are contracted under a long-term offtake or concession agreement, the cash flows of this project were dependent on the buildup of passenger traffic and ticket prices. Moreover, uncertainties in project revenues meant that a standard 75-25 debt-to-equity ratio, which is applicable to other infrastructure projects, would not have been acceptable to the financiers of this project. So, what innovative financing solution did ADB offer to a sponsor for this project? The sponsor was a relatively new entrant looking to consolidate its position in the e mobility sector in India. The solution required out-of-box thinking to structure a capital structure for the project, which included blended finance offering. We carved out a junior or subordinated tranche for roughly 20% of the project cost, which lowered the quantum of senior debt tranche from 75% of the project cost to 55% of the project cost. And the subordinated tranche, which was arranged through an ADB administered clean technology fund, ranked lower to senior debt, both in terms of cash flows and security. The subordinated debt tranche was absolutely critical to ensure that senior debt service coverage ratios are acceptable to the lenders and are in line with their bank's risk appetite. ADB also advised the sponsor to further reduce its carbon footprint in addition to what was being achieved by converting diesel buses into electric buses by including a decarbonization company. This component involved setting up of battery storage facilities for power sourced from a captive solar power project. For this, ADB mobilized a grant from Climate Innovation and Development Fund, a fund backed by Goldman Sachs and Bloomberg Philanthropies. This ensured that at least 40% of the e-buses financed procured uh, power from renewable sources of energy as opposed to the grid power which is from fossil fuels. Blended finance solutions aside, the uncertainties of project cash flows meant that the senior debt tranche itself had to be structured with enhanced bells and whistles in the form of larger cash buffers, such as higher debt service reserve and maintenance reserve accounts, in addition to the sponsor support for meeting any debt shortfall over the facility life. All these innovations and structural enhancements enabled ADB to mobilize facilities which are twice the amount that ADB retains on, on its books. 
these facilities were arranged across the spectrum of capital structure with senior debt, subordinated debt, and concessional financing to ensure project viability. So ADB's ability to originate such impactful projects and its structuring capabilities places it at among the top of the multilateral banks in its mission as a climate finance bank. This is a small but impactful step in ensuring that our future generations breathe clean air, have longer life expectancy, and good quality of life.